Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very glad you're watching. I'm Wu Zhi with Xinhua News Agency. Today, we are going to have a live tour more than 200 meters above the surface of the Yangtze River to find out how Chinese construction workers are building the world's second longest suspension bridge here. This is the Yangtze Gang, Yangtze River Bridge in central Chinese city of Wuhan. Before I came here, someone told me it's not a place for people with acrophobia. But fortunately, I don't have the trouble. But to tell the truth, uh, it's, it's windy today and uh, the place where I'm standing is shaking all the time. Suspension bridges are typically ranked by the length of its, their central span. The central span or the main span is the length of suspended roadways, uh, the suspended roadway between the bridge's towers. The Yangtze Gang Bridge has the second longest central span among all the suspension bridges in the world at 1,700 uh, 1, meters or 5,577 feet. By comparison, uh, the central span of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is 1,280 meters. Japan's Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, completed in 1998, has the longest central span of any suspension bridge in the world at 1,991 meters. But I have to point out that the Yangtze Gang Bridge I'm talking about today is particular in that it is a double-deck suspension bridge. That is to say the Yangtze Gang Bridge is the world's longest double-deck suspension bridge. When it's completed next year, the upper deck of the bridge will have six lanes and the lower deck four lanes. So it's hard for you to imagine that the cables uh, suspended via the two towers uh, will really hold up enormous weight uh, when it's open to traffic. Today we are doing the life report on catwalks which are actually uh, contemporary, uh, which are actually temporary suspended walkways erected to, to prepare for the installation of the bridge's main cables. The bridge will have two main cables. The bridge will have two main cables, which will pass over the tops of the two towers and, and are secured at either end in very uh, big anchorages on the ground. Uh, both towers are uh, more than 250 meters tall. Uh, just now, the elevator ride uh, it took me seven minutes. Wow. As you can see, uh, as you can see, the catwalks uh, follow the curve set by bridge designers uh, for, the main, uh, for the main cables in a path mathematically described as a catenary arc. And the catwalk is about 4 meters wide and up to 220 meters above the surface of the Yangtze River. So you can see I'm, I'm actually doing the life report uh, in midair with the Yance River flowing under my feet. You know, the Yance River is China's longest river. Its total length is 6,300 kilometers. And the city where we are today is Wuhan. It's the biggest and most populous city in the middle reaches of the Yance River. Now, the Yance River is a cargo artery linking the country's wealthy, uh, linking the country's wealthy coast and uh, its vast inland, uh, partly thanks to the Three Gorges project, which has greatly improved the navigation on the Yance River by lifting uh, the water level on its upper reaches. You know, the, the Three Gorges project is roughly 1,000 kilometers upstream from here. And a demand for uh, river transportation has been on the rise uh, over the past decade. 
and especially after China made uh, the, the Yangtze River economic bout a national strategy in 2014 to boost the concerted development in riverside provinces and municipalities. And that's why we see a lot of ships here carrying everything from oil, fertilizers, coal, to manufactured goods like uh, computers, electronics, and even automobiles. Wow, it's really windy and the place where, where, where I'm standing is shaking all the time. And, but fortunately, I'm not a person struggling with uh, uh, acrophobia. Today we'll have a tour about uh, more than 200 meters above the surface of the Yaz River to find out how Chinese workers are constructing the world's second longest suspension bridge here. And this is the Yangzigang, the Yaz River Bridge in central Chinese city of Wuhan. The Yangzigang Bridge has uh, the second longest central span uh, among all suspension bridges in the world at 1,700 meters or 5,577 feet. Well, let's talk to uh, Mr. Wan. He's a, a young engineer here. Wang Gong, you know. Can you please introduce us to us? What is the design of this bridge? What is the purpose of this bridge? And what are the tools used for this bridge? 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 让这个锁骨顺利的、顺利的牵引到对、牵引到对岸。啊。然后现在我们看到的这这些就是主缆基准锁骨，每根基准锁骨，然后它是由九十一根高强镀锌钢丝组成。也就是说，这个是这这个这一把是九十一根。九十一根。啊。然后这个杨四港长江大桥共分为上下游两根主缆。嗯。然后现在咱们看到的这个是下游主缆。嗯。然后这个总共是由二百七十一根锁骨组成。哦，明白。单根锁骨的重重量达到六十一点二吨。啊，明白明白啊。Mr. Wan told me, uh, these uh these are the main cable spinning wheels. You know, workers here will pull uh will pull the cable wires to their desired tension, and uh, a total of two hundred and seventy one such bundles of high strength steel wires are needed. To make up, uh, to make up a, a main a main cable, and each bundle has 91 steel wires in it. That is to say, uh, a, a, a main cable has a total of uh, 24,600 steel wires in it, and uh, the main cable is about uh, 107. 0.5 centimeters in diameter, or a bit more than one meter in diameter, and the 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 main cable is 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 extremely strong and capable of uh, lifting something as heavy as an aircraft carrier. As I told you, that the Yangtzegang Bridge will have will have two main cables, uh, which will pass over the tops of the two towers. And are secured at either end in giant anchorages. The main cable will be 107.5 centimeters in diameter, and it, it is strong enough to lift something as heavy as an aircraft carrier. After the main cables are installed, uh, after the main cables are installed, vertical suspender ropes uh, will be attached to them, and then the deck construction can be started. You know, the construction of the Yangtze River Bridge uh, started in 2014, 
and it will be completed in 2019. The city where we are is Wuhan, and it has already had nine bridges across the Yangtze River, and the Yangtze Gang Bridge will be the 10th one. Uh, the city's 11th Yangtze River Bridge will be completed next year, too. Now, let's take a look at uh, the other bridges in this sprawling metropolis. The Red Bridge, which looks like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, is the Yingwuzhou Yangtze River Bridge. Yingwuzhou literally means Parrot Island. It was a very famous island mentioned many times in Tang Dynasty poems, uh, which date back to uh, more than a thousand years ago. And further away, uh, further away is the Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge. It is uh, China's first permanent bridge to cross the Yangtze River. Completed in 1957, uh, the dual use road rail bridge uh, was a major infrastructural project in the early years of the People's Republic. You know, there are so many bridges in Wuhan that even many locals find it hard to tell exactly how many. Why does Wuhan have so many bridges across the Yangtze River? The bridge building accelerated uh, in recent years due to fast economic growth. And bridges are built in this sprawling metropolis to facilitate traffic. You know, the city of Wuhan has a population of 10 million and 3 million registered vehicles. Wuhan is also uh, a major player in China's economy as a transportation hub and an industrial base. There are so many people and vehicles. So the bridges are built here to facilitate traffic. Oh, it's really windy today, and the place where I'm standing, it's shaking all the time. Besides bridge, uh, you know, besides you know, besides bridges, uh, Wuhan has also uh, a few tunnels under the river that carry rail and road traffic. The designer and the builder of the bridge is uh, the Wuhan headquartered uh, China Railway Major Bridge Engineering Group. It's China's number one bridge builder. Uh, the, the construction giant apparently sees the Wuhan section of the Yangtze River as a stage showing off uh, different bridges it can build. You know, the company has built more than 2,000 bridges across the globe, uh, including, including numerous bridges across the Yangtze River and uh, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge, uh, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Both bridges are among the world's longest cross sea bridges. This is a live tour, more than 200 meters above the surface of the Yangtze River. And this is the under construction Wuhan Yangtze Gang Yangtze River Bridge. This is a live tour, more than 200 meters above the surface of the Yangtze River to find out how Chinese workers are constructing the world's second longest suspension bridge. And this is the Yangtze Gang Yangtze River Bridge. 
in central Chinese city of Wuhan. The bridge has the second longest central span among all suspension bridges in the world at 1,700 meters. Finally, we are back to the southern tower of the bridge and we'll talk to someone. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Yang. This is Mr. Yang. He's a very experienced and skilled uh, bridge worker. Uh, 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 Mr. Yan has been a bridge worker for 18 years and he said uh, he has built more than 10 bridges uh, across China including some very famous ones uh, like uh, the Xi Men Bridge in Zhejiang province. You know the Xi Men Bridge is also a, a very giant bridge with uh, the central span of 1,650 meters. Mr. Yan has also been to Indonesia. In 2008, uh, Mr. Yan was in Indonesia uh, building a local bridge there. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Yang said he seldom have opportunity to go back home uh, because he have to be uh, far away from home building different bridges in different places. His daughter will be 30 next year and uh, uh, he misses her a lot. Uh, the reason why Mr. Yang has to be away from home uh, for a long period of time every year is that uh, he said uh, if you want to live a better life, you have to work hard. Mm. 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 Mr. Yan is not only a bridge builder but also a, a safety inspector and he said uh, safety is the, is the most important thing in the construction of the bridge. Mm. Mm. Mr. Yang said he seldom goes back home, but the bridges he has built are just like his kids. This is the under construction Yangzigang, Yangtze River Bridge in central Chinese city of Wuhan. Uh, the double deck suspension bridge has uh, the second longest central span among all suspension bridges in the world at 1,700 meters. Just now we had a tour more than 200 meters above the surface of the Yangtze River to find out how Chinese workers are constructing the world's second longest suspension bridge. I hope you enjoy the tour. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.